Street Man, Say Man, it's your boy, Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm back with another video. You know I'm rocking with Yaki, you're rocking with me. Hey, gang, like the video right now, bro. Like the video right now, bro. I stay giving me a free game. I give me a free game by liking this video, right? All right, so guys, the like goal for this video is 250 likes. Get this video to 250 likes if you're really rocking with your boy, Hype Steering. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my content pushed out into the algorithm. I'm trying to save these simps all over the world. These men are putting girls on a pedestal. They're doing a whole bunch of fuck shit, sucking up to them, kissing their ass, tasting them. And I know I hate that shit with a fucking passion. But anyway, I was looking through my comments yesterday, and this one comment caught my attention. This dude right here wanted me to talk about females and their shit tests, and I'm going to explain it right now, right? So females, since the beginning of the time, since they was a teenager, they start developing, they got guys looking at them, they have endless options. So when it comes to picking a guy, right, to get in a relationship with, or a guy they seem deemable to have sex with, right, they want the strongest, dominant man as possible. Because you got to think about, a female is feminine, and we're supposed to be masculine by nature, but most men are bitches. So if a girl got endless options, she's going to try to do tests to weed out the fucking weak men from the strong men. You know what I'm saying? So a shit test could come in a series of things, right? It could be a question. It could be a comment or an action to move you off your pivot to get a negative reaction. That's the whole thing. It's a fucking test. And there's only two things that can happen. You can pass the shit or you can fail the shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you fail the shit, she's going to leave your ass or she's going to start doing fuckery shit and get power in the relationship situation or whatever the fuck it is. But um, yeah, I'm going to name four type of shit tests here. You know what I'm saying? in order chronological order and let's get into it so guys the first type of shit test is the compliance shit test right she's going to see if you're going to obey her at your own expense right like for instance she'll tell you let's just be friends once a girl tells you let's just be friends motherfucker this is how you pass the shit be like i have enough female friends but it was nice meeting you and that's it and go about your fucking life what the fuck you mean let's just be friends bitch i want to fuck you bitch i want to get in a relationship with you i don't want to be your friend and a lot of you bitch dudes right y'all bite the bait oh sure we could be friends trying to play the long game once a female sees you as a friend bro in most cases you're not gonna fucking fuck well you could but it might take five years or ten years you know what i'm saying and a lot of y'all suckers wait that's what i be trying to tell guys right if you got a lot of female friends bro something is wrong with you that means you're very feminine and you match their energy or you got no real bitches right and you trying to play the long game with them other than that, you shouldn't have more than two, three female friends. You should always have more masculine men in your life than females. You know what I'm saying? Or she might say, oh, I don't like this about you. So a lot of the girls I deal with, they know the content I make, right? So they'll be like, oh, I don't like this about you. You're an asshole. You should do this. I'll be like, listen, baby, this is me. You going to accept it or you can walk away. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to stand up to their shit. Or she might say, I don't like your shirt. Or you should switch your style up. If you like that fucking style, bro, stick with that style. You never change for a bitch. When you stand up to a bitch, bro, they like this shit, bro. It shows that you're a man of integrity and honor. Or let's say you're having a conversation, right? And she don't agree with you. A lot of y'all bitch ass dudes be like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, fuck that shit. Stand on what the fuck you say. If you don't like something she said or you don't agree with her, motherfucker, stand on that shit, bro. As a man, you don't want to be so agreeable, bro. People take advantage of you. That's a sign of weakness when you're so agreeable. That's why me, bro, growing up, it was always 50-50. A lot of people liked me and a lot of people didn't like me. When you stand up to shit, bro, a lot of people ain't going to like you. But if you saw agreeable with everybody, bro, you're fake. And you know what that means? You can never be your true self because you're always thinking about what people want to say or how they're going to perceive you. The second type of shit test is, right, the congruent shit test. She wants to see if your actions match your words, right? So, for example, right, I never really smoked weed like that growing up, and I still don't, right? It's just that I'm an athlete. I work out a lot, and it just doesn't align with my lifestyle, right? So back when I was 18, I always tell girls I don't smoke, right? But I'll still link up with girls, right? I know a lot of plugs in my area, and I'll pull up with an eighth of weed like a fucking dickhead, right? Smoking just to impress the bitch or to break the ice So she can like me more Motherfucker, if you don't smoke, you don't fucking smoke Nigga, I used to be sitting there in the V Hotboxing with a bitch Paranoid and shit Trying to impress the bitch Come on, bruh That shit is lame Or me, for example, right? A lot of the girls I deal with You know, they're 23 You know, girls like drinking wine When you go over their crib and shit like that, right? You're gonna have girls You're gonna tell them, like, listen, I don't drink When they offer you And they'll be like, here, one shot won't hurt One drink won't hurt No, nigga, stand on business, bro don't let a female knock you off your pivot. If you don't do something, you don't do it. Let me tell you something, guys. As a man in this world, all you got is your fucking nuts and your fucking word. So if you say you're going to do something, do that shit. Or if you say you don't do something, don't do it and stick by that shit. All right, so number three, the third type of shit test is, right? The dominant shit test. And a lot of you men fail this shit. And this is why your bitch wear the pants in a relationship like Gabrielle Union and Jada Pinkett. A relationship will never fully work if the man is not in control or leading this shit. You get what I'm saying? This is why Dwayne Wade got a son daughter. Because he's letting Gabrielle Union persuade his dumb ass actions. Come on, bro. But anyway, she'll do little shit to try to get in control of the relationship to wear the pants, right? Like, for instance, a female's going to ask for your location, right? 
Oh, it's for safety reasons. No, she's insecure. She want to keep tabs on you at all times and don't fucking fall for this shit. I know too many men. They're grown ass men too. And they girl got their location. For what? If something bad is going to happen, it's going to happen, bro. Whatever's meant to be is meant to be. The more you think about negative shit, it's going to happen, bro. And the I fall for it. Sure, babe. Whatever you want. You can have my location. Your bitch should never have your location, bro. Never. Unless y'all married. And that's it. I don't care the circumstances. I don't care what type of excuse she come up with. None of that bullshit. If you're a man and you're watching this and you're in high school or even worse, a grown man and your girlfriend has your location, think twice about your fucking actions, bro. You a little bitch. And you got a Jada Pinkett right now. Or she might do some shit like, oh, if you go out with your boys this weekend, I'm going to leave you. The relationship is over. No, nigga, she's testing your shrimp. She's just doing this to test you. She want to see if you're going to give in to her actions like a weak little bitch. Okay, babe, I'll stay home. Whatever to save the relationship. Now she has full power over you, bro. I will never let a female control me or tell me what the fuck to do. This is why I'm single, bro. Or she might keep threatening to leave. Let me tell you something, bro. If your girlfriend is the type to keep threatening to leave, tell the bitch to leave. Or matter of fact, you fucking leave. Nobody wants to deal with a spiteful bitch like that. How can you be in a comfortable relationship knowing any second in your head that your bitch might leave when she really ain't, but you're going to believe this shit? Cause she got you sucking into her fucking bait. Come on, bro. You as a man, never let a female control you. Yes, you guys can talk about things and discuss actions and shit like that, but never let a bitch dictate what the fuck you do. Nigga, my grandfather been with his girl for 20 years. She wanted marriage three years ago. He didn't go for it. And she's still with him. But a lot of you bitch ass dudes marry a bitch just so she can stay with you because she gives you an ultimatum. And that's why the marriage rate in America is so fucking high. 50% the worst rate in America, right? 80% fouled by women. But, but we ain't gonna talk about marriage. We're gonna say that for another video. You know what I'm saying? If you believe in marriage, <laughs> that's on you. Now the last one is, right? She wanna see if you're really insecure, a weak little bitch. She might go out with her friends. Man, I'm going out with my friends. A lot of y'all just gonna be like, oh, no, nah, you're not going out with your friends. Let your girl live her best life. If she gonna cheat, she gonna cheat. If she gonna be loyal, she gonna be loyal you. Or let's say there's a dude at her work who keep, you know, flirting with her and shit. She gonna tell you, but you know why she's telling you? To test you, not because she's scared or nervous. Because if she was scared or nervous, right? Or it was that serious sexual harassment, she would've went to HR. But she's gonna tell you to test you, to see how you're gonna react. But most of y'all bitch dudes, you're gonna fail. Like, oh, if he keep doing that shit, I'm gonna go to your job and beat his ass. Come on, bro. It's never that serious, bro. If he ain't smack her butt, he ain't kiss her, nothing like that, it ain't that serious. It's, uh, listen, babe, if it keeps happening, go to HR. But yeah, man, that's over today, man. A shit test is just a female trying to see if you're weak or not, right? Just act notching onto the bullshit. When your girl trying to argue, walk away or look at her be like, okay, okay. Guys, never be emotional with female, bro. Never let her see you emotional, bro. When a female know you're emotional, they see you as a weak man and that's when they leave or start their bullshit. Follow my tips and you're going to be all right. But anyway, yeah, man, like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Like, comment, and subscribe for the algorithm. Comment video ideas y'all want to talk about. You know I see all your comments. Y'all boy, Hypebeast, Aaron, and that famous, the Hypebeast. Oh!